What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are continuing the Georgia story. So if you watched the previous video, you saw that I spent maybe 24 hours driving down from New York City to Georgia. And in this video, I meet up with a good friend of mine, Hunter. I met him back when I used to work at Koenig. He worked at S3 Magazine. He still works at S3 Magazine. Uh, and we just kind of became friends through working together and talking on social media and stuff like that. So he's one of the people I'm actually down in Georgia to meet. So he's gonna show me around, we're just gonna hang out and we're actually gonna take some really cool car photos. So stay tuned, let's get into it. Where's the truck? <laughs> hey, what's up bro? Man. What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. Good to see you. So I'm in the car with Caleb. You probably know him better as Gingium on YouTube. Uh, he's currently my chase car driver <laughs> and he's driving Hunter's car. But I got Hunter driving right now because a video that I dropped either two or three videos prior to this video, uh, I needed rolling shots. So a little secret. That wasn't me driving. <laughs> One time I was driving the CRV and I went to shift with my arm hanging out the window. <laughs> there we go. So if you can, hold to my right and we're going to go one lane over. Put the one lane to the left. How'd you like the JDM Miata life? Dude, I love this thing. <laughs> this thing's rad. Do you want to go to that parking deck first? Yeah, we can. Let me just put this, all this stuff away. Oh, there's a spot right there. Hunter has a spot downtown that he wants to take me to take some cool photos. Uh, we're going to head there right now and try and capture some sunsets because I'm still a sucker for really good sun flares. So, let's get it. I kind of feel left out because I'm the only one that's not turbo. camera I'm gonna have to put this down for a second so this vantage point kind of sucks because I can't really see the background uh, so I think I'm gonna try and check another vantage point because from here just I'm really just not seeing anything uh, originally we were supposed to go up there supposed to go up there but uh it's shut down so we can't get in and i figured better off not breaking in all right someone has to take this down all right so the high vantage point didn't work uh i'm gonna try and do a long exposure shot with the car here and see if i can see the background um fingers crossed it works if it and then if it does i'm gonna try and get a shot of all three of our cars because that would be pretty cool uh and I also think it would be pretty cool if I sent that out to Koenig because ironically, we're all rocking Koenig wheels. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and get a long exposure with my car first. There's a little bit of light over here. That's Caleb and Hunter. There's a little bit of light over here that I'm worried might spill over just because I'm doing a longer exposure. Uh, but I'm gonna do a couple of test shots and see how that works out. All right. 
gets copyrighted to Sean Paul. I'm using the background. Blah, 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 blah. No copyright. doing star photos the other day oh yeah same and, concept uh, yeah very same concept but mine i was a 60 second exposure and it takes 60 oh, seconds shit. to process oh so damn. it's like we're like waiting there 60 seconds yeah mine only just 30. <laughs> yeah his goes to 60 it's wild that's pretty sick yeah, it's, pretty cool. it's great for the stars wow Yo, it's awesome. like a halo over so the So can you edit that out? I guess you just take Yeah, that so, all right, so here's the process. I mean, it's kind of cool either way. Yeah, so. Yo, that's rad. So one photo is this. I'm going to do another one for the lights. And then one photo is the background. Right. And I just got to kind of match the exposures a little bit. Which, they, they call that, uh, they, they, call they call look pretty stitching, similar. Right? Yeah, stitch them together. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I'll, I'll cut out the back. Yeah. I'll try and find maybe this line here because yep. like it's easy because it's a nice straight line. line yeah. And then I'll just throw that, maybe a little of this in there. That's cool. And then yeah. And then do one for the lights now. Thank you, my good sir. Alright, so the plan is Hunter's gonna press the button and I'm gonna run around every single car. I might need like three photos. Or so cool. one for each car. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Ready to go? Alright, let me know when you press the button. Ten second timer. Are you gonna do one, each one of each car? Yeah. Oh man. It's gonna be like six photos in yeah. one photo. Uh, I'm excited for this. Let me know how it looks. A little dark. A little dark? Uh, what's the shutter speed at? 30 seconds. What about the aperture? 22? 22. Can you put it at like, I don't know, 18? All right, so I'm vlogging from down here. Caleb and Hunter are up there. Caleb's being nice enough uh, to run the other camera for me. Thank you, Caleb. Uh, and I'm kind of just trusting. Much better? A am I blocking the car? No? All right, so it's good. Does any part of it look dark? All right, I'll take your word for it. All right, so pretty much while they're up there, uh, I'm down here running around with the light and I'm kind of just trusting Hunter's judgment uh, on how the photos look. Um, I mean, he's a good photographer, so I trust him. So I did my car first and then I did Hunter's car. I'm gonna do an exposure for Caleb's car and then I'm gonna try and get one for just the background and then I should stitch them all together. Uh, so I'm gonna do the last car, Caleb's car right now. All right, all three cars are shot. Let's see how Caleb's car looks. Let me know how it looks. All right, that's one photo, two, three. That looks sick. And then let's just do one. Background. All right, so this is the last frame I'm gonna do. Uh, the goal is to get three photos. I already got one of all three of our cars, one of just my car, and this shot of our three cars in this position will be the last one, and then uh, I don't know what we're doing after this. Hunter, what are we doing after this? What? What are we doing after this? What are we doing? Yeah. I don't know.
All right, so now that we're done shooting, I would actually like to do a very quick little breakdown before we end this video, talking about some of the photos that were taken and the settings I used and the process behind it. So starting with this first photo, uh, this is the one I took of only my car. And it was kind of an experiment to see if there was any way that we could position the cars with the background still looking cool or still kind of showcasing the Ferris wheel or any of the stuff in Atlanta in the background. Now, originally when we got to this spot, Hunter wanted us to go up to the higher deck but because it was closed down, I didn't want to break anything. I didn't want to go somewhere we weren't supposed to be and then possibly get kicked out or a fine or the cops called or whatever. So we made do with what we had. And this first photo is actually really nice. I'm very happy with how it came out. My car is pretty low, so I put the tripod at a higher angle so that way I could kind of be looking down at it. And I took maybe three or four photos for this. So I took one for a background exposure. The background exposure was just so that way I could have everything in the back in focus and how I did it was I went with a moderate shutter speed a moderate ISO and a decent aperture I didn't want any motion blur in the background so I needed a relatively fast shutter speed in order to capture the Ferris wheel at a dead stop if you notice one of the exposures that I took for the car and look in the background it's actually blurred out the Ferris wheel because since I had the shutter speed so low in order to do the light painting on the car it actually captured only motion blur of the Ferris wheel. So I did one exposure to light paint the car. I did another exposure to get the background looking how I wanted it to look. And then I did another exposure for the lights. And if I'm not mistaken, I have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure I did two exposures of the car. Originally, there were some lines going across from me waving the LED around the car. So I decided to go with another exposure that way I could kind of even it out and do my best to get rid of any of the light streaks on the actual car. The only thing about this photo that kind of bothers me isn't something photography related but it's something about the actual car itself. Now if you've been watching my journey and my videos on the trip going down to Georgia then you might have noticed that in the video of me driving down which is the last video that I posted go check it out you might have noticed that in that video and if you look really closely at the photo you can actually kind of see the chips in the paint. It also doesn't help that the roads in Atlanta are very bumpy and not very low car friendly at all. At a distance, you can't really tell, like just looking at the photo like this and probably on Instagram, you wouldn't be able to tell. But if you actually go to the high def photo and you zoom all the way in, you can see that it's chipped. And I could have attempted to Photoshop that out, but honestly, it's so minuscule and it's something only I personally noticed. And now you guys will notice because I just told you. So I said, you know what, screw it, let's just leave it how it is and move on to the next photo. So the next photo is gonna be the one of all three of our cars. Angling this was a little bit tricky. I was really hoping to get something in the background and I wasn't able to just because of how the angle was set up. It just, it wasn't possible to fit all cars in one way to where we could see them all nice and clearly as well as the background because there was a building right next to us. So instead I figured let's just focus on the cars and whatever stuff is going on in the foreground. So please just bear with me because I'm filming this video back in New York City and even in this park, there's a crap ton of noise. Anyways, continuing on with what I was saying. This photo was a little harder to take because I was trying to find a decent vantage point in order to actually capture this photo because we weren't able to bring our cars on the higher level like we originally wanted to. So luckily, because we were kind of stuck in the situation that we were in, I was able to position the cars to where I was able to see all three of them at a fairly nice enough angle. And then I asked Caleb and Hunter to just kind of position them where I wanted them. So that way it looked, for the most part, symmetrical. And I mean, I don't think it's 100% perfect. And if you really nitpick, you can probably see that, I don't know, maybe it's not perfectly symmetrical. But again, at a first glance, I do think the image looks really cool. I love that all of our cars are there. Uh, and I'm very happy with how this photo came out. How I took it was I did maybe five or six exposures for this one so i had to do one exposure for each car so that's three exposures right there i had hunter upstairs taking the photos while i was downstairs running around with the led but i took one exposure for each car and then i did another exposure for the foreground and then i had to redo one or two photos because the exposure didn't come out exactly how i wanted them to but I also did like how certain parts of the cars looked, like the windshields or other aspects. So I actually did wind up taking about five or six photos and then stitching all of those photos together in Photoshop. 
And then this last photo that I took is actually, if you notice in the background compared to the first photo, the first photo, the sky is blue and you can see above the Ferris wheel that the sky is like very, very blue. And in this photo above the Ferris wheel, it is pitch black. That's because by the time I took the first photo up until the time I took the second photo, it was maybe like an hour or two later. I wanted to get a photo of all of our cars showing off the front wheels because ironically, we're all rocking Koenig wheels. So I thought this would be a really cool photo for me to just send over to my friends over at Koenig so that way they can post it or do whatever they want with it if they choose to do so. But I thought it was a really cool photo. So I lined up all of our cars next to each other. To get this photo was a little bit tricky. I needed to have a very closed aperture and a very slow shutter speed because since the cars are further from each other, let's say I had gone with something like a 2.8, I would have only been able to get one car in focus at a time. When you're changing focus, it kind of distorts other parts of the image. And I didn't want to have to deal with stitching and making sure everything is perfectly exact for each photo so instead i figured i'm probably better off just sticking with one aperture making sure everything is in focus and then lighting each car individually so that's what i wound up doing for this photo and again i did one exposure for each car i stitched all of them together and then i did another exposure for the background the goal of this video and this entire trip if you've been paying attention to the content that i've been dropping is solely to network capture cool stuff and meet new people and on this day that is exactly what i did thank you so much to hunter for not only showing me around atlanta but also showing me the cool spots that he has to go and take photos i'm really grateful also thanks for letting me use your car to put in my photos i also want to say thank you to caleb for not only being the chase car driver but also helping film portions of this video and getting some behind the scenes stuff for me as well as letting me use your car in the photos that being said that is going to be it for today's video guys if you're interested in seeing more about this trip from new york to georgia to florida and back i highly recommend subscribing because i have a whole bunch more content from this entire trip to drop currently i'm actually not in georgia this is new york city that you see behind me uh, i'm back home there was so much footage captured and there was so much going on that i'm a little packed up on the edits but Trust me, they are coming and you're gonna wanna see them. Not only is there a lot more photography and videography stuff, but there's a lot more car stuff if you're into that sort of thing. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, hit the bell notification, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.